is a series of films that were called The Tales of Victory that were created by a brilliant director called Morteza Arvini in, uh, in Tehran. And the, the series of films um, are, uh, are called Reveillat the Fa, uh, the, the Tales of Victory. What they did was they produced a series of films, usually about 30 minutes or an hour. Some of them are even like two-part series. And they would follow military units, or they would follow a certain narrative of actual soldiers on the front line. And the way, the purpose of it was to really give a kind of a salt of the earth um, ideological justification for why these people were there. For example, the title of the book, Let the Swords Encircle Me, comes from this remarkable story that, that um, you know, from 680 AD, there's a, a handy description at the front which explains <laughs> why it's let the swords encircle me. But basically, the bottom line is, is that um, an Imam, Imam Hussein, um, was martyred in 680 AD on the plains of Karbala, this is in Iraq today, um, and he had this incredible final line. He was surrounded by the tens of thousands um, of the enemy army, and, um, and he, he was there with his 72 believers, and he said, he said, if the religion of Muhammad will only survive with my death, then, oh, and he opens up his tunic, and then, oh, let the swords encircle me. And this, and he at that moment became the Lord of the Martyrs, and someone who was revered by Shiites, and very much used as an ideological tool by the Islamic regime for convincing people that this was, in fact, the purpose of this war. So what you hear, what you see in these films is you see soldiers say, you know, every day is Ashura. This is the day that they're talking about, you know, they're talking about the death of, um, of Imam Hussein. And every place is Karbala. We are creating, we are the new martyrs. We are the new, you know, carriers of this sacred and divine undertaking. You know, we are the soldiers of God. So that was, the, how they couched that, how they sold this to a population that maybe in Tehran was a little bit doubtful. Of course, they're looking for more recruits, looking for other ways of doing it. This is some of the most powerful propaganda that I could ever imagine. Because the people that they take, the way they've done it, is, is it appears so natural. It is so straight. It is so from the heart. And it is so real. And the genius of this director is putting it together in a way that makes goosebumps jump up on your skin whenever you see these films. I mean, to start with, just to give you an example of one of the uh, initial scenes, everybody in Iran knows that at the beginning of, or you know, that the, that the people with the shortest lifespan in the, on the front line were the guys who were driving the bulldozers, right, who were building the berms behind which troops would hide or wouldn't be seen by the Iraqis. <coughs> so the first scene is this like incredible Shiite march, and sometimes when I was writing, I'd actually listen to some of these things just to, you know, kind of get get me in the mindset of what these guys are doing. And you hear this incredible Shiite march, which is very powerful, and then you just see this kind of grainy footage of this young guy, he's probably 16 or 17, without a care in the world, driving this bulldozer, pushing the dirt up, and you hear the shells. There's shooting going on on all over the place, and he doesn't have a care in the world. And he's going, the people who are doing that had less than 72 hours on average to survive, the guys who are driving those bulldozers. Because of course they get picked off all the time by the Iraqis. So here was someone in complete peace with his soul, who was ready to sacrifice himself to become a martyr for the government, for the regime, and for this war, because they were fighting infidels and this was God's way. And the, just the, that, you know, that uh, powerful propaganda is a remarkable thing. Just one other note on that. Those films, if you ask any Iranian director, and I'm talking about Kiryastami, I'm talking about Mahmoud Bab, the famous Iranian directors, they will all tell you that crucial to their understanding of cinematography was looking at the, watching those Rabi films and the work of Morteza Avini. Mm -hmm. 